Back here at Gaelic Park following the Jaspers 5-0 win over Canisius. Jacob Wilkins, we'll start with Erica Modena. Erica, so many accomplishments throughout your career and this season. How does getting three goals in the first half rank among them? Um, it felt great to do it today, especially um, since last game. It wasn't. Um, it was basically a nail-biter that we shouldn't have lost, but, you know, it happened. But it was great to come out today and get all these goals, especially from other people as well. Yeah, and what does it mean to have so many different players involved, whether it's Bree or just the different players that have contributed throughout the year? It's great when you're going to a game that you don't know who you have to mark when we're playing the other team. So everyone can step up and you don't know who's going to be that day, but it's great that everyone can do it. You've been here for quite a few years. As you get towards the home stretch of the season, particularly with two road games coming up, what's the biggest key to this team's success? Staying focused and doing what we're doing right now and being confident that we can go further than what we, we want. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's Erica Modena, and we bring in Coach. Coach, you know, the first few minutes, they got off to a good start. It seemed like they had a lot of opportunities, and then it changed after Erica's goal. What did change? Um, you know, at the, at the beginning of the games, teams are always trying to sort each other out, and I think that's all, all that was. It took a few minutes for us to uh, um, just to get settled in. But, uh, you know, we scored five goals today, but... I think we gave up like two in the first half, two shots in the first half, three shots in the first half. The outside backs were stepping forward, winning the ball. Um, our holding central midfielders were doing a good job of, of winning the ball. Uh, and then, you know, from there it just went. Once we're winning the ball in that midfield, we've got a lot of fast players who can attack from a lot of different areas. Um, and we got them in behind today, and it resulted in, uh, you know, Erica's uh, breakaway and uh, different people getting in on through balls that led to the penalty kicks and, and Erica finishing them. Uh, so, you know, it always starts with the defense for us, and we did a good job of that today, getting us going forward. How do you maintain that defensive intensity and integrity when it's a 5 nothing game pretty early in the second half? You know, it's a tough one, but I think championship teams are able to know what's important and stay focused on those things. Uh, championship teams take care of all the details all the time, no matter what the results are, because it's the right thing to do and it's what we need to do. And I think that was one of the most encouraging things from us today. You go on the road for two games. Obviously, the record here is very strong. You get that win in Maris to get the first road win of the year. What will be the key taking on Fairfield and Quinnipiac? You know, both of those teams have been successful in the past. Quinnipiac was in the uh, finals uh, last year. Fairfield has won a lot of champion MAC championships. So, and Eric has already said it, be confident, know what we can do, and, and not – I don't want to say we don't want to worry about the opponent because both of those teams have a lot of dangerous players on them, but take care of our side of the, uh, of the game first. Well, I'm sure it's also nice to get a few of the players that normally might not see as much playing time late in the game as you never know when you might need them. Yeah, 100%. We've talked about team effort all year long. We saw that today. Everybody got in. Um, we also saw players that once they got in, nothing dropped off. We were still scored goals with them on the field, and we got to have a lot of players rest. So now we're going into a game on Saturday where Eric only had to play 40 minutes, and you know a lot of people only had to play a half of the game. So hopefully we'll have just a little bit more legs in that second game of the week. Well, congratulations on this win. Best of luck the rest of the way, and we'll see you back here on Senior Day. Thank you very much. Looking forward to it.